There is no way I'll talk about gonorrhea and leave syphilis behind. I've made a video on gonorrhea. Definitely, I should make a video on syphilis. Not syphilis, syphilis. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Messi Mary, popularly known as a nurse with a difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, we are going to be talking about syphilis. What is syphilis? What causes syphilis? How it can be transferred from person to person? We're going to be talking about 10 facts about it. And I'm also going to be sharing with you the various stages involved in syphilis. Because there are some stages that this individual will not show signs and symptoms, but can be transferring it from person to person, person to person. But before we go into the days in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please click on that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is not Miss Mary say thank you. Let's go. All right, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we are going to be talking about syphilis. What is this syphilis? Syphilis is a sexually transmitted infection that might cause a serious health problem if not treated adequately. This syphilis is caused by bacteria known as Bacterium Traponemum Pallidium. Bacterium Traponemum Pallidium. You can see the spelling showing on the screen. This syphilis can be transferred through direct contact with syphilis so during sexual intercourse it could be anal it could be oral or it could be anal sex it could be transferred directly through syphilis so that's a so that's so when the person has syphilis we're going to be explaining it when we're talking about the stages that is how syphilis can be transmitted same as gonorrhea syphilis cannot be transferred through sharing the same toilet through using the same bathtub through uh, sharing the same towel no it can only be transferred through direct contact with syphilis so during ana aura or vaginal sex during that process that is when it can be transferred so then that takes us to the various stages of syphilis because syphilis has different stages it has the primary stage it has the secondary stage it has a latent stage and it also has the tertiary stage and all these stages are associated with different signs and symptoms they are associated with different knowledge that you need to know as a man or as a woman now let's talk about the first stage of syphilis which is the primary stage the primary phase what is happening in this primary phase or primary stage you will notice some single or multiple source single or multiple source may be found in the area where that syphilis entered the body it can enter the body enter the body through the vagina through the penis through the rectum through the anus through the lips or through the mouth so you notice single or multiple source this source they are known as chanskri concrete chanskri look at the spelling i'm not an english student and i don't like stressing myself so that is the spelling of what the soul is called most times this soul they are firm they are round and they are painless you will not even notice it said because they, they are not painful so that is why it's good to be observant about your private parts and also about your body generally because this soul might just come and go and you will not know because there are no pain when it comes to this sore. It could be single or it could be multi multiple. So this sore usually lasts between 6 to 13 weeks. It will just be there. You won't see. Sometimes you won't even notice it. Between 6 to 13 weeks. And after some time, it goes away with or without treatment. You treat it or you don't treat it. It will just go away on its own. But it's advisable you treat it in this primary phase to avoid it, to prevent it from going into the secondary phase of what? Secondary phase of the syphilis. Then that takes us to what the secondary phase is all about. In the secondary stage, you might notice some skin rashes or sores in the mouth, in the vagina, or in the anus. So it all depends. These rashes usually come up when the primary sores are healing. The primary sores are going, they are healing, or several weeks after these primary sores that have, that have been there has healed up. That is where these um, rashes usually comes up. And also, you might find these rashes in the palm and in the feet and when you find them there they might be rough 
they might be redded or dark brown they might have these funny funny features of how they look so these are the signs you notice in the secondary phase when it comes to syphilis you may also have other signs associated during this secondary phase which include fever i wrote it here fever swollen leaf glands sore throats pee patchy hair loss headache weight loss muzzle ache and fatigue you might notice this sign when you see those rashes in the secondary phase of syphilis and also i wanted to know that these signs these symptoms what you see they go away with or without treatment that's one thing about syphilis they go away with or without treatment and if you don't treat it it will not go into the latent phase the latent stage as the name implies latent during this stage you don't even notice any sign and symptoms at all it looks like there's nothing wrong with you because it's the latent phase, the sleep, I call it the sleeping phase. No sign is showing, no symptom is showing, it's just there, but it's in your bloodstream. So if you don't treat it now in the latent phase, it goes into the tertiary stage, like the university stage, the highest of all the stage. And this stage can pop up 10 to 30 years after this infection has hit you deep. And when it happens, this tertiary stage is really dangerous. Most people don't that don't treat it don't get to the tertiary phase. Why, when those that want to get it, this tertiary phase, it might be very dangerous. It might affect organs in the body. It might affect the heart. It might affect the blood vessels. It can affect different organs in the body. And if not properly tackled, might lead to damage, might lead to death. If care is not taken, I'm not saying it's really today. If properly, not properly handled, it's not, it might damage those organs. And when those organs are not functioning, it might lead to what? It might lead to death. So these are the various stages of syphilis. You can see syphilis, to me, syphilis is kind of, sometimes you don't know it's happening. So you just have to be very, very conscious of your body and what is happening around you. When you notice something strange, try and see your doctor. That is what I always advise my viewers. That's what I always advise my subscriber. Because prevention, they say, is better than cure. It is better for you to go to the doctor and the doctor say, Oh, I've checked, nothing is wrong. Than for you to assume nothing is wrong. And finally, 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 something is wrong. Remember, there are four stages of syphilis. We have the primary stage that comes with the sore, multiple or, or single sore. We have the secondary stage that comes with skin rashes. That you can also get some other signs and symptoms such as fever. We have the latent phase that don't show any signs and symptoms at all. And we have the tertiary phase which pop up years after. And this tertiary phase can lead to organ damage. Then that takes us to the 10 facts I really want to share with you about syphilis. So the first fact showing here is that syphilis is caused by bacteria. It's not caused by fungi. So it's caused by bacteria known as bacterium traponemum pallidum. You can see the spelling on the on the screen. I don't want to stress by itself. Then the second fact about syphilis is that it is curable. Yes, it is curable with antibiotics. Antibiotics can kill what syphilis. So don't think it's a dead sentence. No, it's not a dead sentence. It is curable. Then the third fact I have here is that it can be spread through, like I just said, through anal, vaginal, or um, oral sex. So take note of that. It cannot be spread through using the same bathtub, using the same toilet. It can't be spread in that way. It has to be spread through direct contact with syphilis. So then the fourth one is that it can be transferred skin to skin. Yes, skin to skin can actually transfer this disease. When a syphilis so meets with another syphilis so, that can when a syphilis so meets with someone that don't have the syphilis, that as far as skin to skin, it can transfer, it can be transferred. Then the fifth fact is that people with syphilis, they might not know that they have syphilis. Yes, that's why you have to be careful. That's why you have to have always have protected sex, especially when you have multiple sexual partner. It is advisable you have what protected sex and not unprotected sex because syphilis sometimes you know the show of face you will not even notice that this person has it or this person will not notice that he or she has this so-called syphilis then another point which is the sixth point is that people that have syphilis and hiv are likely going to go down with neurosyphilis that's when the syphilis has advanced it's going to affect the brain the spinal cord that's what is called neurosyphilis so people with syphilis and hiv are likely going to go down with that neurosyphilis and the seventh part i have to share with you is that syphilis can be transferred from mother to child 
like same way gonorrhea can be transferred from mother to child during pregnancy so that is why we advise pregnant women to go for proper screening when they are pregnant or before they get pregnant so they don't end up transferring infections or bacteria to their unborn baby because when a baby is born with syphilis by a syphilis mother that can lead to a lot of complications can lead to premature baby can lead to one or two things you don't expect in that child let's not go further into that that might be for another video i might explain that in another video soon if they, if you want me to explain that in another video you can drop it in the comment section and i will explain what happens when a mother with syphilis have a baby or when a mother is with syphilis is pregnant with a baby and the ninth point i have to share with you is that syphilis affects both men and female male and female man and man so it doesn't say oh it's just for the male it's just for the female it affects both parties so if you are treating syphilis you treat yourself you also treat that of your partner syphilis can also lead to infertility if it comes up recurrently recurrently you are not treating it it can lead to pelvic inflammatory disease because remember we said that infection can cause pid and pid might lead to infectivity then the last thing i have to share with you is that if you don't treat syphilis it will remain in your body so treat it in the early stage once you notice it it's better for you and when treating treat your partner along when treating stay away from sexual intercourse don't treat uh, syphilis while having sex because while treating it and having sex you might not be treating anything it's just because if you are taking drugs for taking sake so generally when treating any sexually transmitted transmitted infection it's advisable you stay away from cells to get the complete dose of treatment and also when treating it make sure you carry your partner alongside test your partner treat your partner alongside so that both parties will be better so in terms of prevention of syphilis what i advise if you are a mother do a proper screening do a proper test so you don't end up affecting your baby then also avoid multiple sexual partners yes it is better for you to stick with just one sexual partner than having multiple sexual partner and if per adventure you are a lady and you are having multiple sexual partner it's advisable you go with the protected sex not unprotected sex it's advisable you use the condom for those that are allergic to latex condom there's what we call the water condom there's a way they call it there are condoms that you can use if you are allergic to latex condom so i think this is all i have to share with you yes if you know uh, there's a particular place i didn't touch in this video can you drop in the comment section so this is what i have to share with you in regards to syphilis thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is not smith very saying thank you bye and see you in our next video